Yo, it's good guys. Today I'm gonna show you how you can make it block type beat like stupid cool in Mexico draw. And yeah, stay tuned for the end because I'm gonna play the full beat at the end. I will go through every of these melodies. So I hope you can learn something. Let's go into the piano roll and I'm gonna show you what I did. So let's go into this MIDI and this is my bell pad. I actually never start with a bell pad. I normally start with a piano. But this time I was having this melody in my head and I just had to put this down with the bell pad. And yeah, let's listen to this. So yeah, as I said, I had this melody in my head so nothing much to explain. But I modified this melody a bit so I took out this, this harmonics sound, so this one. I don't like I don't like this sound bro. I just wanted these smooth bells and, and I took this out. Alright, so let's go over to the piano. And you can see that I use the same root notes as in the bell pad and I just added on to the melodies. Quick music theory lesson. What I used in this beat is a diminished chord and a minor chord. So first off I'm gonna explain the diminished chord. This is actually very simple and often used in like jazzy music and also plug and plug and B. So you just pick any root note that you want and leave two spaces in between. That's that's it bro. As you can see I pitched this note up one and that is actually a minor chord. Very simple. You don't need crazy music theory and learn all the scales or something. I don't know. You just need these simple these simple tricks to make your melody better. So two spaces in between, three spaces in between. And that's a minor chord. You can also extend this and then you will go two, three and again two steps in between. And if you want to extend that, three steps in between. Back to the tutorial. I have a diminished chord, a minor chord and then a minor chord. At the end, I don't know if this has a name but I just clicked in these notes and I think they transition really good into the next bar. Also I added some top notes as well as some smaller notes to fill the melody out and yeah let's listen to this bro i love this melody for real and also what i did is i highlighted everything you can do this by pressing ctrl and a and then i pressed alt and s so you can strum your chords and normally you would do something like this but I didn't do that, I played around with the velocity a bit. I then layered the piano with this e-piano, so nothing crazy. Just the same melody, different piano. And then I added this mallet melody. And this is not there to sound good on its own, but in addition with the other melodies. So yeah, nothing crazy. And then I got this lead. And I basically followed all the notes that I used before in the piano. And for the last melody I picked out this sound, I don't know what this is. I think it's an E guitar. And yeah, I just copied the root notes of my piano actually. And I changed it up with this sound, so let's listen to this. Nothing too crazy because I already have many sounds in my melody and I didn't want the beat to have no space at all for a rapper to hop on or something. Very simple drums and let's listen to this. Okay. For the 808 I'm gonna explain this anyways. So as you can see these are the root notes of my piano and I often do this because this almost always sounds sounds good and is in key. Just the root note of the piano and then I pitch this F note up an octave and you can do that by pressing control and the up or down button. Then for the hi-hats I didn't go crazy with them so just some bouncy hi-hats to match with the clap and yeah right before the clap hits I always have two or three notes so this is like creating very much bounce and it's hard to explain but let's play the clap and die together and then you will see what I mean oh. 
all right yeah that's it for the drums and the melody i would say we will do the arrangement now and then after that the mixing because i didn't do much for the mix so i started with the hook and then i made a 24 bar verse and i copied this pattern over so a very common trick used in plug is to delay all the drums for two bars and then letting them go in and before that i added this typical sound effect for plug this stupid cool sound i think everybody knows this sound you can also make an intro with only the melodies and then the drums are coming in or oh, i don't know you can do whatever you want but this is like how i do it and especially for youtube type beats because people are not willing to listen to a 30 second intro of melodies they want the beat to drop immediately this is why i started with the hook directly and yeah let's go over to the mixing as i said nothing crazy i just took out some frequencies that i don't need and i put on reverb where i needed it and i leveled out the melodies and then for the for the drums i took out some frequencies and yeah leveled this out usually when i when i mix my drums i lower the volume of all the percussion sound so the rim or i don't know this sound and for the 808 i boosted the low mid and the bass frequencies with the eq and i put on a soft clipper with the basic preset so i didn't do anything with these knobs and also in this eq i pitched up the volume of the mid frequencies after adding some sound effects to this beat this little stupid cool sound effect i added something to like make a transition between the hook and the verse so when the hook ends and the verse is beginning i have this transition sound effect and then followed by this crash so let's listen to that this is like giving the signal for the listener or the rapper that the verse is beginning and for the verse i also took out some melodies that i used in the hook so the verse is not too busy then i added this sound effect i don't know I just like this and I also have a little outro. I created the automation clip by control and drag clicking this area and then going into the master and right clicking this knob and create automation clip. So the volume of the beat is fading out at the end. That's it for the tutorial. And I really hope that you learned something new and uh, that I could help you cook some better beats. And yeah, if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to my channel because I upload weekly free loop kits. Also, if you don't want to miss any tutorials like these, because I'm really motivated at the moment to do these kind of tutorials and I also do evil plug tutorials and plug and B tutorials, I can leave a link for you in the description so you can check out these previous tutorials if you want. I'm gonna play the full beat now and as I said, I hope this tutorial helped you and have a blessed day, bro.